Welcome to Good Mythical More. We got some Pepsis here that I'm gonna massage you with. And you know what? There's lots of flavors of Pepsi, uh, but you can also be lied to. Not by Pepsi, but by the people who are about to lie to us. Right, Stevie? That would be you. Uh-huh. We're but gonna play first, a game to see what the craziest real Pepsi flavors are. We're going to check our voicemail. Hello from Scotland, right? I'm like, I'm sorry, right, that we lost you. Pit Irish, but we will miss you. Oh, you know what? It feels good to be missed. Yeah, it just took taking your whole family there to realize that you were in the wrong country. Yeah, and now I gotta go to Ireland with the whole family. All right, It'll be let's a fun trip. Let's hear the first one. Is it a real Pepsi flavor or Yepsi Nola? Right. Yepsi Cola, Yepsi the Nola. The shoulders are the really the place. To I mean, is this a thing? Yeah. This might work. Because they're kind of cold. How is that? Well, it was good for a second. Stay off of the spine and stay to the side of the what spine. What about what about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way? Oh yeah. Oh and that? That's nice. And that? And on the neck? No, not on the spine. Oh, out. You just grab my hair. What? Go ahead, Stevie. Yeah, yeah. Salty watermelon Pepsi. So Salty this is in any country. This isn't yes. just in the United States. And any time period. Oh, so we go all the way back to like the fifteen hundreds? Yes. I mean, salty watermelon is good. Have you, have you done it before? I've, I've, uh, Salted up a watermelon? My Aunt Vicky, she would salt up a cantaloupe and I think a watermelon. Yeah, a salty watermelon, man. That's a good, I'm saying, I, yep. I like this. Experience. Well, here's the mm. thing. Putting salt on a watermelon, I only know is like something, I, I don't I've think only it's, seen that in America. I don't think it's marketable, but Pepsi is the pride of the Carolinas and that's where I heard about it, so. This wouldn't fly in America. You're saying no, we're, then. We're too picky, but I think this maybe made it somewhere else. Oh, so you're saying yes. I'm saying yes, even though I only know this flavor is an American I'm saying flavor, no. but America wouldn't go for this. Too niche. It was real. It was a limited edition seasonal oh, Pepsi wow. sold in Japan during the summer of 2012. That's mm. interesting. 2012 in Japan. Japan, huh? Look at that hourglass figure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a strange you get a good grip label, on isn't it? I like it's everything about that. On the beach... I guess a watermelon on the beach would be salty. It also looks like it's very light colored. Do you notice that? Like it's very light. It's almost like a tea. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a tea. All right, there you go. You got that one right. What about the, what about the delt? Birthday cake, Pepsi. This sounds like something that somebody would come up with. <sighs> it, but it would be bad tasting. I'm gonna say this is yes because all they have to do is put like floaties in it, like. Cake floaties, floaties, which that's appetizing. You're gonna put ca floating like sprinkles, cake sprinkles. in there? sprinkles. I think there's sprinkles in You think in that's a gonna hold up through the manufacturing and packaging so. process? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I have to shake it. No. 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 It's fake. It's fake. No floaties. Bloody free. All right. Hot Bye. chocolate Pepsi. Hot chocolate. Hot. That's weird for it to be hot. Again, that's not. Is gonna, it real hot? That's not gonna fly is it in hot? America. You know, for being like having this reputation to be hot. being a country that like we we take chances, and we'll, we'll do anything. We sure won't take a lot of chances when it comes to flavors. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you really got to talk us into eating something. Well, I just don't think it would be hot though. That's I mean, chocolate Pepsi, not hot chocolate. Pepsi. I think it happened, no. and it didn't happen in America. No. It was real. What? It was a promotional limited edition of Pepsi made and distributed in January of this year. What? In celebration of Hot Chocolate Day. Hot this Chocolate Day. This was said day. to have tasted like hot cocoa and marshmallows. And it was in America? Uh, We'll do yes. something that, you know what? We'll do something that's limited. We'll be like, well, do you drink we'll it? We'll try it for a little bit. Hot? But we're not committing to it. I wonder. Well, hot is in quotation marks on the packaging. So no, you don't like, no. That's a good looking can. I'm about though. to say, that is a great I mean, can. I mean, I love the, the the brown, the different shades of brown on top, and the way it mixes with the blue and the little marshmallow with a little piece of chocolate. And the retro That's Pepsi a, Cola treatment is so pleasing compared man, to Man, that is a good can. It's a good can. You were right. Let's get our hands on those cans. Black Current Pepsi. Black Current. Right. It's like a berry of some kind. 
The current flavor is uh, sounds like a magazine. The flavor of the month. Um, what is what is a current? Is that an onion? No, it's a berry. That's why I said a second ago, a berry of some kind. Oh, you said that? I did, I did, and then you said it sounds like a magazine. Um, remember that time we did that more with all those onions? They all had different names. And one of them was and a current. Rhett pretended like he knew all the names, and I was really impressed. Yeah, I got you on that. But he was reading. But you're saying that a current is an onion. It is not. No. An onion. It did is I a, say that? It is a bear. Yes, you, you said you it was. I believe that. Yes. Uh, you said it wrong. It's a berry. Oh, then that makes it easy. Then yeah. Yeah, is this, this, this happened? Yeah, for, for sure. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. It's real. I'm really ticklish and, in the front. Um, I don't take massages on the front parts. It, Pepsi 1893, oh. to pay homage to the beginning of Pepsi in 1893, it was released in 2016 and was made with, quote, Premium ingredients, yeah, including cola nut extract, real sugar, and sparkling water. Cola nut? <laughs> cola nut. Cola Sorry, nut. you've got a cola nut. Cola nut. K-O-L-A. This is a real problem. It came in original ginger, citrus, and black currant cola I like flavors. this can, That's a good-looking can That's a good-looking well. can. And we got to like get our hands on that can. Of that. And do you think it's that it's just boy. narrow, or do you think that it's just... I think taller. it's narrow, right? I think it's narrow. I love these what cans. Font? These twinkle, were around twinkle fingers. for two what years, font too. Have they used for that 1893? That's I might become a can collector. You know, like a Pepsi can collector. I've, ne I've never had an urge to collect anything until I've seen these two last cans. Black Courant. I hate the idea of collecting and keeping up with things. The good news but is... But now I'm going to be doing it with Pepsi cans. You can immediately just shopping cart them to a recycle center and make some scratch. But then you're collection. giving your whole collection away. Yeah. But you Pepsi? know, you know you can get money for it. Porter. Pepsi Porter. Porter. A Porter. limited edition cola flavored stout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. sounds interesting. Do you remember growing up there would be like an old granddad character and he would have like an NC State or like a UNC can of Coke that was like, and he had, hadn't opened it? Oh, yeah. It was a very common there thing was in like North Carolina households. Like, Oh, he's got the UNC can. Late eighties, I feel like there was. Was, it, was this a? Is this like the there was a Carolina can? Like there was a state like, can. Like you're saying, like on a shelf display. On a shelf, yeah. Like in the garage, it'd be like, yeah, that's my that's my nineteen. Everybody, everybody collected them. Yeah, I think it was a late eighties thing. Yeah. This was. It was Coke. That. It was Coke. Like so, or search Pepsi, up, um, search up, um, yeah. UNC collectible can. And sometimes 80s. they would have been drank, and sometimes they hadn't been drank. UNC collectible. You don't have to spell collectible correctly. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yes, there it is. The, oh, was it for the national championship? See, but there's the state one, too. Yeah, okay. So it was like, okay, so they would do, a, okay, yeah, blue soda. They would do. It was commemorative cans. Click on the Wolfpack ones down there. That's probably the 1982. Yep. Well, the 1983 is when they won. Yeah. It's the 82-83 season. It's a, it, it was a NCAA championship thing, and everybody had them. Except, except, big except us, we didn't have them. You said big from 82-83? Or all the 80s? Well, just the year that they won the championship, was on, which was 83. So the question is, Porter. And yeah, I why, how do we get off on that? That this did not happen because Pepsi. No, this is cool. Pepsi would get into Pepsi lot. beer, man. Le legal, yep. legal trouble. Yepsi. Legal trouble. Yepsi. That's fake. Ah, oh, shoot! I'm not vibing hey, with this. Hey, can we see the score? I've never done good at these games, and I think I'm doing really good today. Um, something else. I don't think I missed any. Something else. I'm Check this good out. about myself. You want to feel good about getting a sweat out of your brow? Get this mythical headband. It's featured on the Mythical Kitchen channel. Yeah, that's a good combo. Along with the Mythical Kitchen towel. Wow, you like. And at then least you've got a sous chef. The Mythical Kitchen. I'm cosplaying as Josh right now. Wow. You got the Mythical. The Mythical. Um, what is this thing called? It protects you if that's you decide to make food. An apron. Yep. You can get one of these. It's jean material. This is rugged and cool. Den denim. What do you call it? 
What do you call that stuff they make jeans out of? Jean Jean material. Yeah. (laughs) It is. Jean material. There's a much shorter way to that. Denim apron. (laughs) Jean material. A jean material. What do you call that thing to protect you when cooking? That thing. We sell that. Uh, Is it glow in the dark, y'all? No. (laughs) Well, why would you be cooking in the dark? Uh, Well, if you're in the dark and you need to find it to start cooking. We'll look into that. Get all of this at mythical.com. Ice cucumber. Pepsi. Iced cucumber? Ice without the D. Ice. Yeah. Cucumber? Well, yeah, there's a question mark. That has to be a yes because nobody nobody that I know would come up with that as if it was iced fake. Because they would say iced cucumber. That Yeah, I think this is real. It sounds refreshing. It sounds like a spa day in a can. Yep, it was a limited edition green cucumber flavored Pepsi sold exclusively in Japan in 2007. See, Japan's J- got those slim, slim bottles. I don't like it. Like really? I, li- I like a nice hot chocolate can with a nice solid wrap. But over think the whole about thing. how if you you know how people like to take your drink from you sometimes if they're thirsty. Yeah. You can't get that out of somebody's hand. Oh yeah, you gotta. That's you gotta, what that is. That's a theft-proof can. Yeah, because it's you really gripped it at the, at the at the waist. If you can tell you me, gripped it at the waist. If you can Google and find one incident of someone stealing somebody's soda in Japan, snatch. Proof. Then I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. It happens all the time in America. Google snatch proof Pepsi. I'd say one out of six of my sodas get stolen right out of my hand. I'll tell you, just yep. like that, because because the because it's slippery. The girth you know those, of your, um, it, coyote vests for dogs. Try with it with me. All the spiky things coming out of them. See look what? At mm. You know those coyote vests for dogs with all the spiky things Did coming. Did you get out one? Them? No. No, I just envision like a Pepsi bottle, but wearing that little thing, so nobody can take it. But nobody see how easy I can distract him and be like, look at the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> what Eiffel Tower? <laughs> <laughs> See, I finally got it. That was in Paris. And then I got it. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Jesse, that's the sound. Round one. <laughs> Let's see another one. <laughs> Hold on, did you do that voice TV? Yeah. Hold on, you sound like a video game. Do it again. I don't know if I can rest. No, do it again. Me on spot. Round one. <laughs> you should do video games. Do only, th- only talk like that. Do round two. Round two. That was more. You lost that it. was like a storytelling. Yeah, like, be, me- uh, be meaner. Round two. Yo, that's so good. <laughs> you're like a. You're like a. Like a. Like a. It's. <laughs> it's kind of like Street Fighter. Do round. Do round three. Round three. Golly, you're good at it. I think she sounds more like a test proctor. Test proctor. It's like pencils down. No, she sounds like a video game. A video game where you're taking a test. I think she sounds it's like school. one of those one of those people that pre-records the instructions before you get on a roller coaster, so everyone doesn't have to say it every time. Do round eight. Round eight. What about sit? You got it. Sit in the cradle, crotch first. <laughs> what? What is the cradle? The part where you sit in the roller coaster. How do you sit in something crotch first? Sit in the cradle, crotch first. <laughs> Don't that, say cradle. That's say, what they say. They say. Take a seat. Sit in the cradle first. crotch first and lower the harness. Yeah, say all that. Sit in the cradle crotch first and lower the harness. Mm, that was a I put too on. Much like that Stevie. wasn't my game. That was yeah, my. Uh, yeah. You stick with the rounds. My roller coaster voice. Stick with the rounds. Yeah, yeah. Do a double digit. Round 17. Round 17. I think you, maybe you just go to 10 and that's it. Yeah. Okay. I think you do only do 10 round games. Just say, I'm a 10 round specialist. Fire and ice Pepsi. <laughs> Fire and ice. Pepsi. Oh, this was Chris Corciani and Rodney and Monroe. Rodney Monroe. Talk about Fire some old school Pepsi. Wolfpack basketball. I like this. We're the only people in the room. Anybody else know about Fire and Ice, Chris Corciani? Nobody? That's right. We got you. <laughs> it's a real estate agent and another guy now. Yeah, Corciani's got Corciani Real Estate in Raleigh, North Carolina. Fire and Ice, show it to us. Oh, yeah. Oh. You're both guessing. Oh, it's definitely real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's real. 
Look at Whoa, that Whoa, now. That's... So Pepsi Fire was sold as the counterpart to Pepsi Ice in 2004, only to be discontinued about a year later. It was sold in a lot of different countries. I'm not going to list, including the U.S. Cinnamon flavored cola? Yeah. So there was is... Pepsi Fire was hot cinnamon flavored, and then Pepsi Ice was a cold mint flavored. Do you have ice? Ooh. Do you have a picture of ice? Nope. No? Okay, nope. whatever. Can't have it on. But here's the thing. The Pepsi design team. I do not like, I see it now. The Pepsi ice can. Oh, that's horrible. It looks like some sort of like kids movie. Trying real hard. Looks like, looks like Ice Age. But Pepsi, whoever did the Pepsi, the team that did the Pepsi fire design? It's, it's very like iPhone application. It's, it's almost a little out. I don't know. I'm just really into the, the, the aesthetic. I don't think Coke can do it. I, I, I like Coke better, even though... I don't think Coke needs to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, look. There's the Pepsi, Fire, and Ice in that. In that. Oh. oh they did, that team was bad. This team was good. Round done. Oh. oh thank God. That was good. Get as adventurous as you want in your kitchen with the Mythical Kitchen Merch Collection, available now at mythical.com.